Bienvenidos al Filtro, amantes del café. Soy Hugo Guerrero, productor de café de Comercio Justo. Y espero que disfruten del episodio de este mes. I'm going to show you how to brew coffee at home using a cafetiere. What I've got is my Grumpy Mule Colombia Cafe Equidad coffee. It's pre-ground, so it's nice and easy to brew. Roll the top of the bag down, wrap a rubber band around it and stick it in a lunchbox at the back of the cupboard, nice and cool and dry. So I'm going to take about five big spoons of coffee out. If you're going to use scales, you're looking for about 50 grams. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, and five. Next, I'm going to add some hot water. I'm going to use about three times as much hot water as I have done coffee. And the reason I'm doing that is just to let all of the pores open up and make sure that all of the coffee is nice and wet so that all the flavour comes out. I'm also just going to give that a quick stir. We're going to leave that about 30 seconds before we put the rest of the water in. So here we go, we're filling it right the way up now, up to the silver line, or about 750 millilitres. Remember to use water that's just off the boil, not perfectly boiling water. The reason I take these extreme measures to make sure the measurements are all exactly the same, to make sure it's the same amount of coffee and the same amount of water every time, is because I want my coffee to be perfect every time. I want it to taste the same every time and I want to be able to have coffee that I really enjoy every time I brew it. And this reminds me of the farmers that I met when I went to Colombia to find this coffee for the first time. What they do over there is they take great lengths to make sure their coffee is perfect every time they grow it so that when we buy their coffee it's always the same and it's always perfect. We have been working for many years different techniques in the management of cultivo of coffee with the finalidad of improving every year our quality. We are now incorporating new varieties Eh, nuevos manejos agronómicos, eh, un poco de investigación también en el tema de nutrición orgánica del cultivo, de eh, asociaciones de, de café con agroforestería y otros cultivos eh, como bananos, cítricos, eh, maíz, como se puede ver aquí también. One of the reasons I choose fair trade is because I know that fair trade coffee farmers will invest their premiums in improving the coffee that they grow for us. Dorandino, desde sus inicios, siempre apostó por un café de calidad y más aún de la mano con, con comercio justo, ¿no? Todo esto con la finalidad eh, de ofrecer a nuestros consumidores eh, una buena taza de café. So there we go. Next, I'm just going to put the lid on gently, not push it all the way down and wait about two and a half minutes until it's ready to plunge. What you're aiming for is about three minutes total brewing time, and what that'll give you is a really delicious cup of coffee. Don't push too hard, because you don't want the coffee to surge over the top of the filter and get gritty bits in your cup. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna push down gently from the top, and just squeeze it down all the way to the bottom, Perfect. I'm going to get myself a cup and let's try this together. So my Colombia Cafe Equidad coffee. It's one of my favourite coffees in the world. I choose fair trade because I know the coffee farmers benefit so much from the fair trade premium and they can use it to invest in better quality coffee in my cup. That's delicious. Siga fair trade para obtener más información. Gracias por unirte a nosotros. Los veo pronto.